a positively Jack story supporting our troops and all the military families who visit Jacksonville. All last month, News for Jacks, with the help of Memorial Hospital and you, our viewers, collected snacks and personal care items. They were then sent to stock at the USO Welcome Center at the Jacksonville International Airport. And as Channel 4's Crystal Chen explains, you helped to donate more than 8,000 items. It really does mean a lot that people are supporting us. People from all over the River City came together with one goal, to lift the spirits of our troops and their families right here at the USO Welcome Center at Jacksonville International Airport. Memorial Hospital stopped by News for Jacks Thursday morning to collect the items you donated to our Positively Jacks collection drive. It's a wonderful opportunity for our employees to volunteer and be engaged with the community and to, of course, to support the USO and uh, all the military families. More than 8,100 items were donated. That's close to 200 more items from last year, which is important because the USO is 100% self-funded and relies entirely on your donations. Just take a look at what shelves look like before your donations. After a truckload of supplies, the shelves will now be restocked and it will be a picture of love and support for those who fight for our country. They don't have the money for extras meaning a Coke and a snack at the airport. It's kind of expensive for them. So what they do is they come see us. They're uh, associated with the military. They're active duty or retirees, and they come to us and sit down and have a Coke, and it's a nice place for them to wait. USO Executive Director Mike O'Brien is also grateful to people who support the center, which is like a home away from home. They know when they're at the, the USO, whether it's here in Jacksonville at the airport or whether it's abroad, you know, that they have a place to come and relax and, and connect with their families in many cases or just to, you know, be where they're uh, going to get a warm greeting and a, a hello and a thank you and, uh, you know, an appreciation for their service you know, to our country. Crystal Chen, Channel 4, The Local Station.